Right, let's watch something real scary. The top five scary ghost videos to scare you senseless. All right. Hopefully I can take the fear. Top five ghosts caught on camera. Child's play. When sure, Ashley moves to a new home in Utah, she starts to see her children walking up and down the staircase on random occasions. Oh, this really loud. Now, usually Ashley's children walking up and down the stairs would be completely normal. How's that? But you see, this happens when Ashley's Please children are asleep, cause. or sometimes when they're not even at beat. home Thank you, at all. Thanks, Risa Invader. Oh my God! It's a it's a baby boy. He activated cloaking. There. He's like the predator. Now this next video was shared to the internet without a source, so I'm not exactly sure what's going on here. The video shows what looks like security camera footage from a seemingly so average deaf. home, the but then something happens that's downright creepy. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> a smoke monster? There's no source. I have no idea whether this footage is real or fake. I can tell you, it's but real. This creepy little ghost child it. is definitely spooky. Or oh, the aliens communicating or something? He's receiving instructions. Nice. Is that a Motorola Razor? Out of nowhere, the boy just suddenly seems to stop and stare at someone or something that we can't see. Then, without a moment's hesitation, he drops to the ground and starts digging furiously with his hands and finds oh, a random phone from- Digging furiously, he dug twice and moved like maybe five pieces of mulch. What do you mean? He probably could just see the phone like with this- like, just see it straight up. But man, yeah, he, no, he fucking dug straight to hell there. God damn, I, I can't believe it. From underneath the heavy pile of leaves. After watching the footage back later, Monique believes that something supernatural might have instructed her son to find that phone. Hi guys, what, I'm what, just giving an update what on what kind of what monster would do phone? that? Well, hey, I threw it dig away. down for a free phone. Um, I didn't think anything it's at like the one of those time when I threw site. it away um, Click here that for I shouldn't have free until I watched the video. I record all my kids when they're playing baseball, football, at the park. Why? I'm that mom <laughs> that records every minute and second of their lives. Uh, that's actually just really um, sweet, I'm not going to lie. So, unfortunately, Monique threw the phone away, leaving us all to wonder just what was on that broken phone. No, I mean, I can tell you it's probably planted. That looks like a fucking baby toy. It was probably just another kid playing with that phone. That is an actual Nokia brick. Bro, no one uses this. It is 2022. This is just either a prop, planned, or the world's oldest man happened to come by and drop his phone. Wonder just what was on that broken phone. Now, I have to say that this is one of the strangest videos I've ever seen. How? But what do you think? <laughs> I feel Did like he says that once a video. Boy to find the phone? This one? What is going on here? Is it one of the scary you craziest tell me. ones? The Campbell Haunting. On their YouTube channel, Paranormal Nightmare TV series, they set out to investigate the abandoned company housing of the Youngstown Sheet and Tube Company in Campbell, Ohio. Like the area summer. consisting of 146 apartments was built in 1918 to serve as housing for the workers at the Youngstown Steel Factory. The steel company, without warning, just closed its doors, instantly firing over 5,000 workers with no warning. Oh man. News we've received this morning from Youngstown Sheet and Food is just the worst possible news that we as your elected public officials Prime blue and could have Duke. received. These workers were left with nothing and deeply in debt. Mm -hmm. Sadly, some of them saw no way out. 
These workers tragically shredder. took their own lives right inside their company apartments. Jesus Christ. Hi, my name is Rocky. Can you tell me your name? Can you stop playing that rock and roll? Don't be able to hear Are them you respond. In this house? Exit tier one angry. Did you hear that? Dude, I swear that sound like somebody yelled Josh. I thought it was Rocky. Josh was it not Rocky? Here's someone calling Josh's name from somewhere outside. How is that an unexplained voice? The two brothers believe that the voice is their brother Rocky calling out to them, but they quickly realize that it's not him. <gasps> What's wrong? What happened? Nothing. What are you doing? Who just said scream? Why are you screaming? I wasn't. That was absolutely him. His voice sounds exactly the same. What are you talking about? What? They're not even trying. At least use like one of those uh, Dollar Tree voice modulators. Make you sound like a demon or something? And why would you choose to, to scream? What kind of ghost are they encountering? A caveman who only knows a few words? Angry. Hungry. Sad. Why are they not even giving like the slightest attempt at all? Jesus Christ. That was absolutely him. It's the same voice. He didn't even like raise his voice or change it. Man accidentally read like the voice cues in the script. Yeah. I was just, it sounds just like your voice. I was just sitting up here asking questions. I had the camera on. Oh, the I see. So it's a shapeshifter. In the footage, they noticed that on the abandoned lot behind Timothy, they accidentally caught something downright chilling. No. And uh, the one brother answered, and yet there were legs sticking out from behind the door because the other brother dropped dead, and they, he just left him there on the floor. Like, there was nothing to it. <laughs> no! She's hitting a Fortnite dance behind him. Watch out! Watch the- Oh my god! Oh! She's grooving! Is that a body wave? Orange Justice? What is that? Whoever or whatever this is doesn't look like a normal person <laughs> and seems to be ghostly white with no prominent features. Is that even a person? I, like, no, I'm starting to- qu it, just, it just looks like one of the le uh, sticks blowing behind him. I can't even tell. It just seems like one of the like sticks from the bush. I don't know. Yeah, he could be hitting the yoinky splinky back there. What do I know? I don't have my degree in demonology. As always, I leave it up to you to decide. I've decided it's a very I've small this ghost. Entire investi for over a decade, Jim Barari worked hard to find the perfect home for her wife, Heather, and their six-year-old daughter, Ray. She eventually found an amazing colonial home in Pennsylvania that was built in the 1700s. Oh, that's going to be really The house sits on a 50-acre plot, but soon after the renovations were finished, strange unexplained events begin to occur on the property. They decide to install security cameras in and around their home. And late one night, their outdoor security camera captures something chilling. A real goblin. Or perhaps even a mystical elf? Gnome? Let's see. Oh, it's a Morse code? Morse, uh, what is it saying? Oh, it's just a guy in bath salts. Someone or something can be fall? seen limping along behind Jen's home. Whatever it is, it makes a very eerie and unsettling moan or screech. At first, Jen isn't sure what to believe and hopes it's just one of her friends or neighbors playing a very strange prank. But over the I course of the next three months, the, the activity becomes more and more unexplained. <laughs> what kind of fucking thought process is that? That prank would have to rely in, like entirely on the people that live there knowing that this group has security cameras and also actively monitoring them. That's such a like specific prank. That was, again, probably just bath salts, and they fell over and had a good time. ...as the events intensify inside Jen's home. And now, whatever is going on seems to start to affect her daughter, too. Uh-oh. I know that is not... Oh, wait, I have that... No, I have that same pink ukulele! What does it all mean? Ah! Don't even 
Oh my god. Oh fuck! Oh. It's the hash slinging slasher! No, I'm sorry that I curse and Okay. Okay, can you stop? Oh my god. Play a Velvet okay, Vic stop. record backwards. Or listen to Tim McGraw on two times speed. Who is that? Oh my god! Hey, what's going on? Baby. I'm coming. That could have been a really good jump scare opportunity from Caleb that time. Just hits her head on the door. That'll take care of her. Objects move around and fall on See, their that's, own. See, that's... You've played this pink ukulele before, Caleb. Ob right. Yes, I have! Yep, yeah, and it's fucking haunted. And it's easily haunted. Can you believe that shit? Oh my god, that's creepy. So she's being haunted by a bald man? This claw carrot scared the shit out of me. Be here with me, like, whatsoever. Hello. Like... <laughs> <laughs> You got haunted by a non-bald man, Caleb. God, that gets you. <laughs> I, I don't even know if they can see you on stream, but that was a rough my, one from my, there. <laughs> my hat shot off. That gets you every time. This is so f***ing creepy. This is creepy. This is scary. If this man's not mm. bald, I swear to God. Oh my god, big oh, it's okay. Fuck. It's okay, holy sh So what do you think is going on at Jen's farm in Pennsylvania? Oh, I think she's Jen haunted. explains that she is currently seeking help That's from paranormal professionals as she can't move out and wants her family to be safe. Japanese paranormal channel The Fourth Wall has been following the chilling story of an allegedly haunted house in Japan. Over the following years, Suzuki began to behave very strangely. <laughs> One day, so, he told his neighbor totally that he was horribly sad and grief-stricken <laughs> because his wife and daughter had taken their own lives. The neighbor did his best to console poor Suzuki over his devastating loss. But the thing is, the neighbor later found out that Suzuki's wife and daughter were still very much alive. Uh-oh. They had never taken their own Bit lives, and in fact, they were still living in the house with Suzuki. You ever had a paranormal experience, Caleb? No. Do you believe in the paranormal? I... You're a fool, then. How do you explain this? <laughs> oh, my God. There couldn't be anybody beside, behind the right side. <gasps> Don't you feel silly. But what if they were in that box? But now, the, the paranormal activity in the ghost. house doesn't seem to be limited to... <laughs> the UFOs are the least yeah, there's some wacky UFO shit. That's what I always say. I don't I don't know why ghosts are so fucking weak. All they can do is move plates and doors. It's like super underwhelming. Never anything cool. Do you think they'd move more plates in the world or more doors? Oh, doors. Easy. Easy. Oh yeah. This is Mr. Clean reincarnate. I don't know, he's coming back to finish his last load of laundry, I guess. What do you expect, a Yu-Gi-Oh duel? Bro, I just expect Ghost to be able to do something. The water in the bathroom turns on Besides by itself, and then doors. the door closes. But most chilling oh, of all, okay. we see some odd white shape that seems to be Plus, moving behind the closed you know, bathroom know, door. Honestly, like, the girl is alerted ghost? to the movement like, by his camera like, monitoring it, app. Bitch. He goes to check the bathroom, <laughs> but... Finds nothing There's there. No need to move these things Meanwhile, the paranormal really activity in Megaro's upstairs bedroom has begun to intensify as well. A ghost for real, what do you think the ultimate prank they could pull? They could just sell all of your shit, like, when you're asleep. Just on, like, go on to your bank or whatever and just sell all your shit or, like, deposit, withdraw it. They could fuck you up. What if they, uh, what if they like, were thinking on Amazon? Oh, like they were really helpful ghosts, like they notice you're out of toilet paper, so they order it while you're asleep. Yeah. Or like, they hate you, so they like buy you only like one ply. Oh, true, they just sabotage. 
They get you like great value brand soap. As Mega Roll, his static cameras record something absolutely horrifying. Grind for you in RuneScape while you're sleeping. <laughs> That'd be the friendliest ghost ever. That's actually the next cast movie. Yeah, he just grinds RuneScape, just does agility. That's a fucking nightmare in itself. Yeah. Oof. Did you see it? As that was a full blown the line in each fourth wall. He's just throwing in like a frame there when he turns off the lights because he's in hospital. Have you not? Have you not watched in any of these before? They pretty much all do the same thing. Literally every single one of them is exactly the same. This is so sad. It's so beautiful because <laughs> the narrator's like, "This is perhaps one of the strangest things I have ever seen." And it's like a like a little goblin or something, like a little shadow going across the floor. It's fucking awesome. I I'm, love these. I'm just gonna start like a ghost narration video. That's like, what YouTube. Were you there at the warehouse when we tried to do that with like the haunted chair? No. That must have been right before you then. I wanted to do like viral TikTok scary things, so we put like a fishing line across a, one of the chairs and turned the lights off. And Matt yanked it when I came upstairs, and I was like, I made up a story like. 15 naked cowboys died upstairs. <laughs> this was their favorite chair. You could still see them cruising around. But it didn't catch on on TikTok. Oh, fuck. Hello? Of course. Ah! Ada suara di ini 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 di pintu ini, teman-teman. Astagfirullah. There was someone hanging. Ada suara itu merinding. Jesus Christ. Aduh, Biong. Tar dulu, tar dulu, tar dulu, tar dulu. Ada suara, ada suara. Soviet school. The sound of a shaking door can be heard, and when Chu pans his camera around, two creepy legs can be seen hanging from the decaying hospital roof. Well, at least he jokes until something shocks him to his core. Oh, he's gonna find arms this time. Yeah, Allah, Holy shit. Hey, hey. Alright, Well, no, you don't want the ghost to know that you saw them. A small gray figure can be seen standing right. I think that's a gnome. Let me see. A small gray figure. Yeah, confirmed gnome. You can tell if you you actually can use the high pack. Uh, yeah, you're, you get what I'm saying. <laughs> Whoa. I forgot what I was just saying. I see you've been on more than one gnome hunt here. <laughs> <laughs> Your <laughs> tactics for deduction are second to none, it's just sh Sheriff Pinhead. <laughs> uh, fan amazing. <laughs> I was going to say you could use the uh, Pythagorean theorem. Yeah, the height. trig to figure out the angle of the, the shadow relative yeah. to the, uh, the height of the flash. Well, the hypo well, gnomes don't have shadows. This is actually two gnomes on top of each other. Oh. The one behind them is just wearing a black coat. I see. Yeah, I've watched a lot of gnome spotting, so I've been able to really find them in the wild now. Hey, I didn't see what hey. happened there. I didn't see it. It's not a gnome. What's your eyes peeled? Oh yeah, they could be anywhere. They love the foliage. They eat these Shall plants. Why did we run earlier and we're now we're going back? Jesus. Well, gnome, I mean, you could probably beat a gnome in hand-to-hand -hand uh, -hand combat. You think I could really get your knees? No, uh, they're, they're just kind of crafty with, like, the element of surprise. Like a figure like that a looks shop. like a young girl moves out of oh. sight behind a wall on the oh. left. That was nuts. Fuck. That's not all. Because, did you see it? No, what? Even the explorer Chu doesn't notice, but there is also a second large oh, dark fuck. figure How watching him from that? the weeds. It was an SCP. Right. It escaped. Both of these figures seem to simply disappear into thin air on the live stream. It's literally just the friend. So are these the spirits of patients <laughs> whose souls were never able to leave the hospital grounds? <laughs> is this creepy hanging apparition the spirit of the Dutch nurse who tragically took her own life? God, I love these videos. I love scary YouTube videos. They're so fucking good.